sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, suns and moons. And of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email. The positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself in overall the positive way you show up in the planet. Now, with that being said, let's get in there like a swimwear. Now, you know, I got to remind people and warn people. I got a doppelganger, copycat, a replica, a clone. I want to be me, but try and do it better than me. An English professor, a WhatsApp bandit, and a rude high priest or priestess all floating through that comment section. But I also got a lot of love, and I love you too. That rude high priest or priestess, who everything on the fence. It's promising to get your love back. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. For a small fee. Of thirty nine ninety nine, all you gotta do is sign your life away on the dotted line. Do not fall for the okie doke people. If you have to bend someone's will for them to be with you or for you to be with them, they don't need you, and you definitely don't need them. This is past, present, or future energies. Hey, big head. Parts may resonate with you, parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. This could be someone in your environment, someone thinking of you. You're thinking of them, an ex, a co-worker, a past overload when you may or may not know these individuals. Hey, any and all inf <laughs> information that you need about me or regarding this reading shall be in the description box below, including a link where you can copy and paste that into your browser and receive a free bird chart from a reputable site. No affiliation to me. There will also be a link for membership. Those that are members, welcome, welcome, welcome. Those of you that support me through just viewing, liking, praying, I appreciate you. All right? Now, with that being said, let's get in there like a swimwear. Yeah, yeah, I liked it that live. You know what? It brought me back to when I first started. You know, I needed that rejuvenation because when I first started, it was about, it was, it, it was a feel good thing. You know, I, um, I felt good doing it and I kind of lost myself in that, in the spiritual warfare that we have to go through. And I was having conversations with Source the other day and I said, you know what, Source, the fun and the enjoyment that I had doing this, right? Is leaving. You know, I talked to Source. Source talks to me. And I said, I'm always asking, is it time for me to, to go? Is it time for me to move on? And the answer is still reigns true. It's a no. It's a no. So I'm where I'm supposed to be. Right? So it's meant for whatever is taking place on this channel, with my energy, with your energy, to be publicly seen, okay? We ask the creator to use us. We might not like the way we're being used, but it's definitely a purpose behind that. We're talking about patience. I'm also hearing peace in the storm. Learning how to be comfortable in the midst of chaos when everything is falling down behind, behind you or around you, Interesting, I said behind you. I looked down the clock, said three, four, four. When everything feels like it's falling apart, it's really coming together with the justice being here. Patience is needed, collective. Now, am I preaching to the choir? I'm sure I am. But that's what I'm here for, right? My true star family, my, my true earth angels, Okay, we got a lot, a lot of pants on fire. Somebody could be into runes, okay, but their perception was off. It was distorted. They were they were not authentic here, and this person was trying to create some confusion, illusion. They are delusional, most definitely, right? Neptune talks about spirituality, but it also talks about dysfunction. Now, somebody could be into the occult, esoteric studies, whether if it's you or this person. But somebody's perception is off. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, right? 
We have almonds here. And on top of almonds, almonds, we have Aquarius energy. So this person wasn't paying attention to the future. The intuition was off and blocked. Okay. Some of you, you may be seeing a lot of formation of birds. Okay. But this could also be an indication of you becoming whole, balancing your masculine and feminine energy. So you may come up as a male in some reason, in some readings, and a female. Or you may resonate with androgyny. Okay? So this is why I preach on this channel. It's very important for you to know your birth chart. There's no excuse for you not to know. Because the person that has been studying you, your nemesis, your rival, your perceived enemy, they've been studying you. See, it's easy to look on the outside in, right? This person is uncertain. Somebody could be having issues with their brain. I'm hearing psychological deformity. Okay. Something about impressions, thoughts, projections. We have an injustice here. And this is talking about judgment. Those of you that have seen the reading in the members side, right? Uh, you know exactly what this is about. Right? Somebody told a lie. Now, this lie on the surface could be someone going to the courthouse and telling a lie. Somebody trying to block somebody from getting justice. It's going to resonate different for everyone. You may need to check your Black Moon Lilith. You could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your Black Moon Lilith. But this is like a dominant feminine energy, like an original type of energy. Okay. I'm hearing something about duplication. Black Moon Lilith could be significant. This is karma. Some of you, you may have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your 12th house. Okay. Or your South Node. But this is about a choice. For some of you, this is a choice in a partnership. For some of you, this is balancing your masculine and your feminine energy. It just is, you know. This could also be about a marriage and somebody being under judgment. This could be a litigation. This could be a divorce. Take it how it resonates, right? Why is Black Moon Lilith here? And this particular reading is not going to be for um, the membership side. I'm being guided to post this for the public. There will be members' readings there shortly. So, you know, I got my second win. You know, and when you're in the boxing ring, you like go to the, the referee ring the bell. Ding, 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 ding. I got my second win. We definitely speaking about love or the lack thereof with Venus being here. Definitely somebody could be a Libra. You could have it in the predominant parts of your chart. And what I mean by that is your sun, your moon, your ascendant, a.k.a. rising, your south node, your north node, and as well as the 12th house, right? Because some people are stuck in negative karmic cycles, right? And I keep getting, every so often I get this energy of dys dyslexia. Because when I looked at the card, I seen 12, right? 21 could be significant three. This could be a collaboration. A three or more people coming together to project some sort of illusion or delusion surrounding someone's work, their authenticity, their creative endeavors, Okay. This is about the way you express yourself, your communication. Okay, I'm hearing monetary gain. All right, somebody wants you to lack motivation. And this is very important for you to stay motivated. Okay, to be able to move forward. Right. Somebody does not want you to operate from your heart space. They want you to be seen as someone that's unstable, maybe someone that um, uses other people's ideas, but 
These are the individuals that are inauthentic. Now, when you get in the comments section to tell me I'm projection, I'm just going to tell you I'm catching and sending it right back to your ass. If you feel that way about me, why do you watch me? If you don't like the fact that my son is in the background and he's on the spectrum, so he's not, you can't really hear him in, mo in the majority of my videos, but being on the spectrum, and some of you, you are really insensitive and then you wonder why people are not coming to your aid here, helping you be in compassion. My son is on the spectrum. Children on the spectrum often repeat things. Okay. So if you don't like when you hear him on this channel, don't watch me. So I got love for my child. We got the high priestess here and transformation here. And they came out on the fence. <laughs> so let me tell you what I'm getting collective. This is someone that is high ranking, but it's at jeopardy. Their rank is at jeopardy here because of what they are communicating or what they have communicated in the past about someone that outranks them. False judgment. Somebody's going to gain clarity over this witch, warlock, sorcery, or this person here that is in a dark place. Okay. Somebody tapped into someone's energy when they were doing in the process of some sort of upgrade. Now, this transformation can be someone that is in the dark night of the soul, a Saturn return, or something like that. They're, they're in the midst of a uh, transformation. And I say that because it's coming right after high vibrational or balanced energy. And also we have will of fortune. So this is a faded situation. If you resonate with this energy, you were supposed to encounter this person. They were supposed to lie on you. They were supposed to still manipulate your energy and cause confusion around you. So you can go through this transformation. I'm hearing patience is a virtue. What's at the bottom here? Transformation. We've been having that energy of um, butterflies, people coming out of a cocoon here. Okay. And, and I'm also, you know, I keep getting it. Expect the unexpected. Now, I know how it's showing up in my life. The people that are trying to work against me, they don't get that the true divine beings, the true elect and chosen ones is showing up in their life also. They don't get that because they're so focused on presenting an illusion. Okay. So somebody's uncertain about the future. They're not paying attention to the synchronicities. They're not paying attention to the omens. Okay. Somebody's being hunted by the past, whether if it's a past over person or the things that they did in the past. Why is certainty here, please? <sighs> a guiding light for all to see. You're going to need to have strength and courage to persevere through this temptation here. Because some of you, you have gifts, right? Some of you, you have the gift of prophecy, of discernment, and you have some sort of rank here. Now, again, those of you that have seen the membership side reading, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. You were sent here to help guide people out of a dark place. Somebody's uncertain if you know that they are involved. They are uncertain about a lie, a misjudgment, a ending. Somebody could be in court in regards to an ending. For some of you, this is two or more people working together. Now, you are, you are a lot like me, and this is why you are attracted to this channel. You've been through some things here, okay? So you're trying to take people along with you, right? Or whoever this high priestess is. Trying to take people along with you. I'm hearing that don't deserve to be there. There could be some kind of 
I'm hearing genetic encoding, maybe. You may have had some lack of self-worth here. Or you like, you know, you like to see people win. But these people have to choose to win. They have to choose to walk in the truth and light. Does that mean that you're not going to get shadow energy? No, it does not mean that you are not going to encounter people that are under an illusion, trying to cause confusion, having addictions or something like that. But with authenticity being here and justice being here, this is telling me this is documents. This has something to do with documentation. Somebody's trying to guide someone out of a negative space, but this person here is tied to it. I look like one of them, them Boy Scout knots. Now, I ain't never been a Boy Scout, Girl Scout, or whatever, but it don't look like they can get out of that one. Okay? There's some sort of tie there. Maybe family. It may be just what they invested in. This could have something to do with the next lifetime. Maybe this is a generational curse that somebody tied themselves to and their lineage. But we definitely have people that are in discord. This could have something to do with a group, a channel, uh, DMs or something like that. People are realizing what's actually taking place here. So they're trying to present some sort of illusion. And here you are, you're coming up out of the dark place and you're like, hey, look at this. <laughs> Look what I found. Here's the truth. It is making somebody upset. Somebody that is into sorcery. This is high priestess energy also. And remember, we have it here on the, on the fence. Now, again, for some of you, this person has spiritual gifts. Okay. Now, in one of these readings, it talked about somebody needing to confess and speak a truth to lift a curse. Something that they put out possibly for a whole group of people to call judgment on someone that didn't deserve it. Yeah, three or more people. And sickly and sadly, a lot of people took the bait. When people take the bait and bear false witness is because they have some issues that they need to resolve. Don't let it take your joy. Take it from me. I'm hearing God will not put more on your shoulders than you could bear. But sometimes it just don't feel like that, right? But there's a transformation taking place. We keep getting that Virgo energy. Healing. Somebody that is a public servant. Somebody is a humanitarian. You're itching there. You're the little engine that could here. So somebody's perception about a healer was off. They lied. Okay. They may even try to ruin you. Remember, this is on top of the ruins card. But also to the communication being on the fence like that. This is this is a lie. They wanted to put this high priest in a tuferco. Because this this high priestess here in the light comes off as a mystery here. Whoever these people are, they were smart enough to know that because this person knows hidden information, that they can attempt to scapegoat this person because this person has the ability to see the future, prophesize the future. This, per this person cannot be cursed. They could try to curse this person or attempt to cause trans transformation around people in this person's environment. But it's only a test because ultimately, when you walk through the halls of two truths, universal life force source knows. So... Scorpionic energy, you could be a Scorpio, Libra, we got the cusp energy like we always have, Scorpio, Sag, Aquarius, Pisces, that's another uh, cusp right there, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I mean, you know, anybody could be uh, acceptable to this um, information, but this person is fearful of going to H-E double hockey sticks, I mean, 
This person may not have believed in the spirit realm, but they show believe in telling lies and bearing false witness. Their secrets is out. Now people are focused on this person. What is this person doing? What is this person doing behind the scenes with their gifts? Because one thing is for certain, two things for sure. People already see publicly what's happening to this high priestess on the fence. But they also notice someone else going through a transformation. Why? Connecting the dots here. Somebody is in court. Somebody's locked up. Somebody's uncertain about the future. I'm here repent repentance. <sighs> Communication. We have masculine energy could be an emperor. Somebody wanting to confront a third party, a fourth party, somebody that they have a soul contract with. Could be a past life soulmate that they needed to cycle out this lifetime. This person could be involved in some sort of crime here. Okay. I'm hearing bearing false witness here. Somebody may be um, paying someone, hiring someone to testify against this person in court. So they're not sure of the outcome. If this is a divorce, somebody's not sure of the outcome because somebody's being seen as rebellious here. Every time something happens, every time they do something to affect this person's mental health, physical health, spiritual health, it shows up in their life. Now, they're starting to pay attention now. Because some sort of illusion of who is the original here is fading. I wonder why. We're talking about diplomacy. We're talking about harmonious relationships. We're talking about fair exchange, no rob robbery, equal give and take, right? For some of you, you have a soulmate that's coming towards you. Now, whether or not if you want this person, I don't know. And to be honest with you, I don't care. And I'm not trying to be mean, but it's none of my business whether if you want to be with this person or not. I'm just the messenger. Why is Neptune here? We got, I mean, you could be a Scorpio. This is happening to you. You could have Scorpio in the eighth house. You could have a Scorpio moon or somebody, again, is fearful of whatever they've been doing in the dark. Come into the light. Okay. So publicly, this will look like somebody is in foreclosure. Somebody's in a divorce. People are wondering what this person is doing behind the scenes some people may know because there is group i'm hearing group conflict about why something is changing and again remember in the past there was some sort of lie that was told about this high priestess on the fence now this person is in fight or flight they're fearful they're making mistakes they're being taxed. They got a lot of debt. And not only that, they tied themselves to this and anyone else that is associated with this person. <sighs> Somebody lacked self-awareness because they needed to heal. They need to do some subconscious work here. This is somebody that's codependent. They thrive off of other people's energy, other people's money, other people's stability. Why is Aquarius here? So you're being guided to use your intuition going forward, which you already do. Again, I always feel like I'm preaching to the choir, but sometimes you need reinforcement. You need clarity. All right. Somebody knows that they need to detach from this situation. Somebody knows every time they talk to this person, they present some sort of illusion or they're under the influence of something. They may be trying to project influence on someone. We're talking about diplomacy. We're talking about somebody hiding their true intentions, right? With partnerships and omen. Now, for some of you, this is your distorted masculine, your twin or whatever that is hiding something here. This person may be working with someone of the same gender. 
Okay. They could be co-defendants. Somebody has an alcohol addiction. Somebody's preferences are not of the norm. This may be someone that goes both ways. Somebody shook a hand to cause some sort of disruption with somebody's stability. Why is the high priestess here? We got communication and it flew, flew right here on transformation. So, and Neptune again. So we're talking about, like, like, like always, People that sit around and gather and watch or try to attempt to prophesize and pull cards on somebody in the attempts to keep them from moving forward. Somebody's patience is, is drawing thin in this scenario. I pick up on the energy. Right. This is conversations that are being had in the dark. I keep hearing, check your black moon, Lilith. It will make sense. It will make sense to you. So whatever is in your black moon, Lilith, you need to read that reading. Okay, rather if, I mean, read that sign. Well, not read that sign. Watch that sign. Okay. We're definitely speaking about a high priestess. And with it being on the fence here, there is... I'm hearing a mixed match of energies. So this is someone that possibly presented some some form of illusion in the past or they communicated with you in the past or they were tapped into your energy some kind of way. Because, again, this is original. This could be somebody that does something that you do. OK, they don't like the way you communicate. They want to mess up your communication. Whatever you speak, do work is healing for a lot of people. It causes transformation for some of you. It even breaks curses. Somebody's coming out of some addiction. We got patience here. We got patience there. This is be, this is telling me be patient here. Somebody's getting caught up in a lie. Having to do with somebody's finances. Why is transformation here? It fell on communication. So this is about you using your intuition, your gut instincts. You could be a cancer. Somebody involved could be a cancer, but you could, may also have cancer in the 10th house. But this is telling me that you're dealing with your complete opposite. This is somebody that is watching you transform or they're watching what you do. And communicating what you do, especially if you are a content creator, to other people. And it's causing someone to be in this energy of uncertainty. Uncertainty. Scorpio, why is this here? This could be about the divine feminine principle. This could be about someone that is upset because they are in litigation or they feel trapped or... There is a breakup. Okay. <laughs> Definitely there is a Scorpio involved in this scenario. Now, for some of you, you are a Scorpio and this is happening to you. And or there is a Scorpio that's involved in some sort of misjudgment here. Some sort of lie, some sort of documentation, something that is I'm here notarized. There was some sort of confrontation, an argument. <clears throat> Somebody got big headed here and they may have spoke a truth or they went to someone. And there's evidence of this. Yeah. And somebody can't explain how they know something, where they got something from. How this person is able to break or lift a curse is also. Somebody may be confronting family members about a curse that is on their bloodline. Oh, yeah. So I know in the 12 hours. Come on. Those of you that are into astrology, you know. We got Aries energy. We're talking about the emperor. 
could be a business owner, could be a father figure, could be a husband that may be locked up. The South may be significant. Okay, somebody may have Aries in the 12th house, the South Node, or Libra. This is something that is faded. This is talking about something that somebody, someone does when nobody's looking. They lack accountability, they lack uh, responsibility. They were a secret hidden enemy, but it's no longer secret here. But done, it was done in the dark, <clears throat> comes to the light. South Node talks about the past and being comfortable, complacent. The things that you did in the past, your hidden tendencies, fate. It was all the lessons, so stop stressing. And then right up under that, we got communication. Somebody wants to heal something with you. You may have blocked off this person. They may have blocked you because they were under some sort of illusion here. Some sort of dominating energy. This definitely could be about a marriage for some of you, okay? It was a faded situation. Yeah, it's a, it's a marriage for somebody. This is about somebody's stability. And this is about a healer. Love and partnerships, three-way communications, and money, finances. Why is Libra here or the justice system here? Finances, finances. It's always about money, right? Somebody's moving forward after being trapped. Scapegoated under some sort of illusion here. Why is the high priestess here on top of communication? You're somebody that's very inspiring to others, or you are in the energy of a high priestess that is somehow offering you some protection. Possibly this person may have assisted you in breaking a curse. This person guided you to follow your intuition and move forward. Competition. Confusion, right? Didn't I say that before? About communication, about someone's intuition. See, the thing about it is, once you complete the cycle, if they were using your energy, they cannot do it anymore. So if this is a reader, their readings are going to come out very different because, again, they was usurping your energy. They was using your talents, your gifts. They're not able to do that. They lack innovation. This is someone that is unrealistic. And this was destined. You are somebody that's kind and giving, nurturing. You're also connecting with your soul tribe. We have emotional and mental health that originated with family. Solutions, manage the problem, affirmation, all is one. This is how this high priestess is able to channel because they don't have no strongholds. They don't have attachments to earthly desires. But somebody does. We're talking about a victory. And look at all this green. So somebody was all gassed, no breaks in this scenario. This is somebody that was codependent and jealous. They lacked empathy. Now, I, I kid you not, this person was overactive at what they did because they lacked compassion. They lacked empathy. Okay. <clears throat> if you are someone that comes from your heart space, you will be overgiving. Okay. So you may have you may be this high priestess energy, whether if you male or female, you were over giving to the wrong people. You need to accept that this was illusion and cut off communication. Now, for some of you, this is a sibling. It could be people that live in your environment are theirs. This is something that's happening with it with a sense of urgency, right? Because somebody like discipline. Somebody is a man or a female of honor. And look at that. And I just say somebody like discipline, you see at the bottom, they were dealing with a very cruel force, somebody that was very forceful with all this red. Why is transformation here? This is somebody that's fearful again. 
jealous heart. They like nurturing. They don't like the fact that people nurture you. Now, if you get in the comments and say I'm projected, I'm going to say how you know. How you know. Because you doing it. This, this, the story sound too familiar because you, you, this is what you're doing in the background. You think somebody don't know. Remember, the high priestess is out here on the table. They got the ability to see in the dark now. <clears throat> We're talking about conflict resolution. There is none. We got sorrow in reverse. Somebody is not sympathetic, empathetic to the plight of what you are going through or what this feminine principle is going through. Okay, longing in reverse. Somebody wanted you to be in this energy of need, 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 like they are. We got intimidate in reverse. <laughs> yeah. So we're speaking about somebody that has no connection to source. They don't get no downloads. If they do, they're not authentic. They're going around and taking little bits and pieces of people that are authentic. And maybe that's why the high priest in the balanced perspective is here. Why is Pluto here? Competition. <laughs> You're trying to cause confusion. And, uh, you know, somebody needs to, you know, I mean... They need to ask for forgiveness. They running out of goof, willpower, steam. They wanted you to submit here. Now they in this energy of submission. So this patience, I feel like this is for my star seeds. Forgive yourself. And forgiving yourself, you will ultimately forgive these people. Now whether or not if you are in the energy of forgiveness at this moment, I can relate. Trust me. It'll happen. I already know. You may get in the comments and say, no, nah, you can nah, man. And then later on down the line, you be sitting up in there because that's what empaths do. They start thinking, man, man, because you have a higher knowing. You have, you're connected with the omniconscious consciousness and this is why you are able to get these downloads these authentic downloads those that are wanting to be you compete with you they know it they're giving up false hope effort right ah, solution resolution in reverse why is this here mm, that was quick we got law of seabed we're talking about you being conscious and aware of your actions, deeds, thoughts. I'm old school again. They say God knows your every thought before you even think it. So we have, it's not about what you think you know. Mental conflict. Somebody may be trying to give something back to someone that they took from. Thinking that is going to resolve the problem. Sorrow, why is this here? Emperor. Somebody's emperor is in this energy of not feeling sorry. <laughs> Now you look when I when I channel the energy, I, I don't want you to think that I'm making excuses for. It. I'm just telling you what I, the energy I'm picking up. Somebody's DM is not feeling sorry for these people. You see, there was an illusion in the past because somebody was in their ego. They were confused. They wanted a victory. This is somebody you know. They. they you know, let the games begin. I'm the emperor. These oh, are fighting over me. You know, y'all know what y'all know what it's about. Come on. Now they like. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm about to lose my crown playing with these. Right. Somebody didn't change. <laughs> Somebody don't want to change. They wanted to be intimidated here. They wanted to intimidate this emperor. Emperor, you better step up. 
you about to lose that, that crown. You're about to be judged if you're not already being judged. Some of these men are in, could be females too, but some of these men are being judged. They could be locked up or they were in the past or they in litigation, possibly divorce court. Longing, why is this here in reverse? She thought she could, so she did. Called on them lower demonic energies. Past judgment. Operating out of emotion. Erratic, sporadic. Denying it. Don't want somebody to have clear thought, clear knowing. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> divine feminine. And not so divine. Now nah, I'm just playing. If this emperor crown was in reverse, I looked down and said, fo, fo, fo. Good golly, Miss Molly, your hard work is paying off. I looked, you know, if this, uh, excuse me, if this was in reverse, I would say not so divine masculine. Okay. But it's not. So we got divine feminine. You are not longing for this person. I'm sorry. Right? Right? Some of y'all, you know, the people with energy I'm channeling, where this is actually your reading, you laughing too. Now, for the people that think this is a reading because they see divine feminine, divine masculine, this ain't your reading. Now, for some of you, it's going to be for you in the future because you're going back and forth. <laughs> you still under some sort of illusion, right? Because you're not realizing who you are. If you hold that divine feminine, divine masculine title, you are thrown. You are responsible. For bringing justice to the planet. We got watching something happening in a public place. Not active. Not participant. Passive. Bystander. <laughs> Somebody's spouse. We had the mutt energy come out. Which is uh, a pantheon. Right. Um. In one of these readings, I think it was the reading that most of y'all are scared to watch. <laughs> it was like, mm, no, nah, either we ain't watching that. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that thumbnail. That's the one you need to watch. <laughs> Somebody got that energy of Osiris on them. Between worlds, got one foot on a banana peel and the other in H.E. Double hockey sticks. Oh, man. All right. Anything else? Why is this aggressiveness here? Somebody's going to gain some sort of wisdom after they went, after they, after they go through this trial, possibly an actual trial. They'd be released from jail or released from some sort of stronghold. That stronghold could be an abusive marriage. Oh, I'd rather be in bed. Uh, yeah, they were trying to cause that tower. Mm -hmm. Aggressiveness don't work now. Some people, they just they'll just cut you off. So we definitely talking about somebody fearful of going to prison. Could be a feminine energy. You know they was conjuring up all these lower vibrational energies. You know and you reap what you sow. Deuces. <laughs>